Hey everyone, welcome to a video. I am so glad that you are here and I can't wait to get into this one. Let's go. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, my dad is up in my attic right now, or in the attic, not my attic. So if you can hear squeaks and cracks and thumps, that is him, not me. But today's video is going to be about uh, an idea I've kind of been thinking about and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through with it at all yet, but I wanted to make a video about it. This is one of those kind of personal growth videos, one that you probably don't care about if you're here for the sustainability on my channel, but I've been making videos here for about half a year now and that is just crazy to me. I did not think I would be anywhere near here. I did not think I'd be this consistent with making videos and I had zero expectations for this channel, so the fact that I have close to 30 subscribers is awesome to me. And I would love to grow more. And as an entrepreneur, it's important to produce content that my viewers actually want, and I understand that. But I feel like I'm not even sure what my viewers want. So this is my uh, smooth transition to tell you to comment below and tell me what you want. Give me a video idea. I love content ideas. Also, my email is in the description of every video, so go check that out if you want to. But this video is about more than the content I produce. This video is going to be about one of my favorite quotes, which is, less is more. And I think this can be applied to so many things in life, uh, so much of what we have, so much of what we do. And yeah, it can just be used in a number of situations. In my case right now, uh, it may or, you may or may not have noticed that a lot of my content uh, has gotten to a shorter length. In my first few videos, they're like eight or nine minutes and I've been trying to avoid that. I do have a few eight or nine minute videos here and there, but most of my videos are five minutes or less now. Smaller amounts of content does not mean less work. I wanna clarify that. However, it can mean that the content quality is better. It means I can keep my videos faster paced and keep your attention longer. As a teenager, I totally know what it's like to have no attention span, and the reference less is more would also mean that I'm not posting as often. And that's the part that I really can't figure out if I want to do or not, because everything I hear is like, post as consistently and often as you can that's sustainable for you, right? And I'm like, oh, I can do two a week, but will my content be a lot better if I only do one video a week? Or should I stop blogging so I can just focus on the videos? Or should I stop having Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and all the social media so I can fo focus on the YouTube? Like, what do I do? And doing less is not just because I'm lazy or I'm not invested in being a social media influencer. While I have been busy with back to school stuff, it's more about having one focus a week so that I can put all my effort into that one project rather than burning out at 100 projects. But your job as a viewer is to tell me, let me know, please, do you want more videos, less videos? Talk to me. And the one video a week situation, if I were to do it, will not go into effect until 2021 because I have videos planned out through the rest of the year. But it's just around the corner. And I think that's another one of my things. I tend to just, my brain floods with ideas. And I, I get this fear that I'm going to run out of ideas where I haven't yet. I think in the future, I'm definitely going to pivot my plan multiple times throughout this career as I try to figure out what I really want to do. I'm sure you've noticed a large variety of content from me, such as like sustainability for beginners or clean with me videos to my musical content all on this channel to business and personal, personal development kind of stuff. All these things I'm interested in and I just keep experimenting and I'm starting to think I need to just focus on a niche, a niche, whatever you call it that is very specific. But I think I do need to keep experimenting until I find something that works best. So stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed so you can be here to see all the new content I produce and comment below what content you wanna see next. My most popular video on YouTube by far is a video of me explaining my sustainable summer. This video is just over three minutes and it's also fast paced, impressive, and shares plenty of information very directly. My hope is that I can keep producing content like that so that more of my videos can get over a hundred views. One last change I want to make in my content is to involve you, focus on you, and make sure I'm giving you what you want. So I definitely need some feedback from you.
but I also want to be able to give feedback to you. I guess then I should do that with this video, huh? Because this video is about pivoting my plan in my business that I've created, then my feedback to you is if you have a business idea or plan, first of all, try it out. If it doesn't grow and improve and work, then pivot your plan. When I say pivot, I'm, I'm saying don't change it drastically, but make changes so that you can still be doing what you love and be doing a job that works for you. Do what you want and make sure you're giving your viewers or the people you're working for what they want too. I know I don't have a ton of experience with YouTube and stuff, but if you're in the same situation as me, I would just say keep trying new things and find a technique that works and stick to it. That's the real takeaway. I want to intentionally find content that you all enjoy. I want it to be valuable as always and I want you to have something that you can learn from it and find useful. So until next time, peace.